Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Nathan's 3D Factory. I'm Nathan Adams, and I am in Blender 4.0. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a pencil cup and send it to 3D print. So first, we're in the default cube scene here. We're going to press X to delete that. Now, we're going to do Shift A, and then I'm going to do the search here, and I'm going to do a mesh circle. Okay, now you're going to see here, add circle, has 32 vertices. I want to make a hexagon shape, so I'm going to change this to 6. Then I'm also going to change the radius to 40. I want this to be 80 millimeters wide on this, and so it does the radius system where it does half that width. And then we're going to change the fill type from nothing to n-gon. Now we have this object, and I'm actually going to rename this to Pencil Cup. I'll do the same thing on the mesh data, I just like to keep this clean. There we go. Now that we have that set up, we're going to tab into Edit Mode. So go Tab, and then you'll see you have the six vertices selected. I'm going to press E to extrude this upwards. I want this on the Z axis, so we're going to make sure it's on Z by pressing Z. Right now it went away. We press Z again. And I want this to be 110 millimeters high. So I press 110. And then I'm going to delete that face by pressing X and then doing F. So now I'm going to tab out of edit mode. I'm going to get the wrench icon. And I am going to do solidify. Okay, and then with solidify, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the thickness to 5. And then to ensure that we have an th even thickness on this, I'm going to press checkbox on even thickness. You notice when I uncheck it, it actually kind of slightly moves. So now what we're going to do next is that we are going to apply this modifier because if I just have this right here, you'll notice it shows that it's thick, but there's nothing there other than just those vertices. But if I apply this, then you have real geometry there. So next thing is that I want to make a lip on the top and the bottom, just to give a little design element, right? And so I'm going to press Control R, and you'll see this loop cut thing, th this line that comes up. And I want to have two of those. So I'm going to scroll up on the mouse wheel, Click there, escape, and then we have two loop cuts. Now I want these at pretty precise distances, okay? So I'm going to press Alt, and then click on that line. I'm going to press N to bring up the um, to bring up the transform the properties for this, right? And so now we have a Z value at 73. I said this is 110 high, so I want to make this at Z value of 105. So we get a 5 millimeter lip on there, but I'm going to extrude it too when, I, when we get to there. I'm going to do the same, Alt, left click on this. The Z value, I'm going to put at 20. So this is going to have each of these vertices, because they were created at the same Z value, of going at 20. Otherwise, it usually does an average on those, right? So now that we have that, what I want to do is I want to extrude this out to millimeters. It's not the easiest though when I'm about to do like this scaling, right? So I'm going to do a shift D, which is going to be for a duplicate along the Y axis by pressing Y. And then I'm going to say negative two. The positive is going this direction. And then I'm going to take all these faces that I've created by pressing three, doing that same alt method where I'm going to press Alt on the keyboard, click this edge, and you'll notice that it gets all those faces. Now I want to go back into the uh, vertex select mode. I can do it this way or pressing 1 on the keyboard. And now I'm going to do a couple more things. I'm going to enable snaps, so that way it'll take exactly to this snap point. So I will do the magnet, and I'm going to change this from increment to vertex. 
And then one last thing I'm going to do to make sure that I can scale out to that is that I'm going to do rotate and scale. I'll just enable all of it. And then I'm going to do E to extrude, S, and then I want to move out to this vertex right here. And so it gets a little finicky. Also, to make sure that you scale it correctly so it doesn't do any flaring out in the Z direction, press Shift Z and it will exclude the Z axis. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom here by pressing 3 to get back into the face select mode. And I'm going to do Alt. So that way I can select it on there. And then I'm going to press E to extrude, S, Shift Z. And then that takes everything there. Now I'm going to delete any duplicate vertices because we had that as a snap point by pressing A. And that selects everything on this mesh. And then doing M by distance. Removed one vertices. And now we have all the stuff that's interfering geometry out. Now I'm going to tab, get out of there. And then I'm going to export this to an STL file. So I go into File, Export, STL. And then I'm going to make a new folder here by going into um, this one here, new folder. Okay. then I'll call this pencil cup. Now I want to ex you know I want to export only the selection that I just have. So everything highlighted in orange, export STL. I'm also going to save this. Okay. I'm going to have a pencil cup. Call it pencil cup. And that way if there's anything that's wrong on the geometry later, you know, I mean there's always that possibility then it's saved. So now we're done with the blender design part and we're going to go into a slicer program that's called Cura that I like to use. Now for the next step in our process we're going to be taking this object that we just made into a slicer. So to do that I'm in Ultimaker Cura and I'm going to be opening up this file and then I'm going to go into where I found it here, pencilcup.stl. So you're going to navigate to where you saved it. There you go. And now we have this set up so that it's on the print bed. And this is roughly, a, uh, this is a 220 by 220 print bed. You want to make sure you have your correct 3D printer and all its settings. I have a Creality Ender 3 Pro that I'm going to be putting this into. So then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to slice this. But I want to show you a few settings here, okay? So on this object, I'm going to have to enable some supports on this because I have some overhangs. So right here, you'll see I have that. It's probably not going to be a horrendous thing, but it is jutting out at a 90 degree angle. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have it so that a minimum of 45 degrees uh, is what happens when you have to get supports generated. I already have this checked and I like to put tree on mine. There's normal and there's tree. Normal is going to have stuff that's just going to go straight up, right? So now we're going to generate supports and then I want to do a slice. Also, you're going to need to know your print settings of doing your standard, I mean, you have your standard profile. Um, this is a 2.2 uh, millimeter layer height. There's also temperatures and stuff. I like to keep them at uh, 200 degrees Celsius for the nozzle and 60 for the print bed. So you can go into your print settings and do all that stuff. I'm not going to go uh, too much into detail on that. So um, your walls, I keep at 0.8 millimeters thick for the walls. And then you have infill. And then I'm going to show you that in a moment, just kind of how it goes. We're going to do slice. We're going to allow that to slice. OK, 
Okay, so this one says it's going to take 13 hours and 57 minutes to print. So, it's going to be a long print process, but you know what? It's going to be totally worth it in the end. So, we're going to preview this, and I'll just show you just what is going to be happening. All this cyan blue color right here is basically support material to go up to this brim right here that, uh, that I added in. So... Um, the rest of this, if we do like a little animation, this just kind of shows you what is going on with the print process. So, we go where it starts out with this, what's called a skirt, and then this is support, as you can see on this, as I go scroll through that, and then it starts getting the actual product. And then as we go up, go up a little bit more, and you'll notice right here, this kind of funky pattern, and that's going to be our infill. And then on the outside, we have that wall where we were talking about that 0.8 millimeter thickness right there. So we keep going up, keep going up, keep going up. And so that is basically what our preview looks like. And then once we get that preview, then I think it looks good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save to disk. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to put it into my Nathan's 3D Factory folder in that one where we did the pencil cup okay and then we have ce3 pro for uh for ender 3 pro being sliced in cura pencil cup dot g code the g code not the stl is what's going to be used to make the print file so i'm saving that and in a moment i'm going to take that and transfer it to uh to an sd card that i'm going to put onto my printer and then that we'll get our print process started.